one of the world's largest fossil fuel companies, Shell. They've been kind of secretly working on a way to enable battery charging in 10 minutes, 10 to 80% in 10 minutes. They say that this novel solution is going to be this, well, essentially the easy way to get most batteries to be able to charge in 10 minutes. Now, I'm a little bit skeptical, but guys, here is the details, and I'm curious to know what your thoughts are in the comments. Thermal management fluid for an EV can help to, well, basically enable a battery to be charged from 10 to 80% in 10 minutes, says Shell. And Shell lubricants have said that immersion cooling enables smaller, lighter batteries capable of up to five times more range than typical EVs whilst using the existing charging network. Now, unfortunately, they didn't give us really a whole lot of information about how this enables up to five times more range than typical EVs. Now, they weren't referencing hybrids. They were saying that somehow this new lubricant or this new actual fluid would provide the ability for manufacturers to massively increase energy density of their batteries. The development is aimed at addressing consumer concerns, though, primarily about charging speed or charging time, how long you're charging for, which they say has been identified as a significant barrier to EV adoption by over 44% of non-EV drivers in major automotive markets. Now, I understand people don't want to wait around for a car to charge, but I'm not sure that this solution is actually needed because we've already got a range of EVs in China um, and even some now in the United States as well that can charge between 450 to up to 1,000 kilowatt. So obviously Shell is spruiking their product and they said that in this joint project that they actually worked on with innovation company RML Group, they used a 34 kilowatt battery pack to demonstrate the fluid's capabilities. The company projects that this charging speed when applied to a future highly aerodynamic vehicle with an efficiency of around 10 kilometers per kilowatt hour, or around 6.2 miles per kilowatt hour, could add up to 24 kilometers of range per minute of charging, or 14 miles every minute. If you look at the current market leader in efficiency, the Lucid Air Pure, it operates at approximately eight kilometers per kilowatt hour, or five miles per kilowatt hour. So really the the big headline here is this, how to improve heat management. Heat management is the number one reason why we can't just blast more charge into ordinary batteries. And it's a central challenge for EV battery technology. High speed charging generates substantial thermal energy and this can accelerate cell degradation, reduce the battery's overall lifespan and in rare cases lead to safety issues like thermal runaway. Conventional cooling systems often rely on cold plates that offer indirect contact with battery cells, which can result in uneven temperature distribution. Then you can get certain battery cells failing and they have to be replaced. Shell's approach utilizes its new EV plus thermal fluid in an immersion cooling system. And this method involves submerging the battery cells directly into the fluid, which sounds like it could be safer as well in terms of managing heat in the situation of a car crash, if that were to pierce the battery pack, for example. The liquid, which is electrically non-conductive, which would obviously therefore prevent fires, fills all the spaces between the cells, ensuring direct and uniform contact for heat transfer. Now, it would add some weight to the battery, and that's something that has to be considered too, though. But this does allow for more effective and consistent temperature control across the entire battery pack particularly under the high stress conditions of very fast charging. The faster you charge a battery, the more heat you're actually generating. The fluid is formulated with Shell's proprietary gas to liquid or GTL technology. This is what Shell actually said themselves. Let me know what you think. Shell EV plus thermal fluids can help to significantly improve battery thermal performance, paving the way towards higher charging efficiencies, enhanced safety, convenience and cost effectiveness. To support the widespread adoption of EVs demanded by legislative initiatives around the world. So, of course, this development is coming at a time when the EV market is growing. 15% of cars worldwide in 2024, uh, good numbers, right? 15% of all cars sold EVs. This year, it's likely to be around 20%.
And this growth is increasing demand for EVs. But yeah, it's true that customers, some of them don't buy, well, some people are not buying an EV because they think it takes too long to charge or they just, you know, they think that range anxiety is going to be a problem. Now, I actually think that when you buy an EV, generally range anxiety, you can have it sometimes, but in general, once you understand the situation, understand the parameters, understand uh, the, the right apps to use for charging, it kind of goes away. And therefore, even if you're having to sit and charge for another extra five minutes, it's probably not a big difference. There's already electric cars that can charge in 12 minutes. There's quite a few of them, some in 15 minutes. So I'm not sure how successful this thermal fluid from Shell will actually be. But if somehow it provides this uh, miraculous change in energy density, which Shell haven't mentioned how that would happen, that would be a big benefit. Either way, though, my big question to Shell would be this. Can you use it on a sodium ion battery pack? Uh, for example, Cadle's next generation Nextra sodium ion battery pack, because I actually believe that sodium ion batteries now, based on the data we've based on the information we have over the last month, will actually take over a massive percentage of the car market worldwide. They're just so much cheaper. Automakers will pivot to these. Uh, come in, uh, Battery brands will pivot to making them because they are clearly a better option long term. So how would this fluid work? Would they work? Would this fluid work with sodium ion batteries or did, was it just invented for lithium? I don't know. I've tried to look this up. Can't find out. What are your thoughts, guys? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. This is one of the most amazing stories, guys, that I have read since I started this YouTube channel. This is truly a breakthrough in battery technology and it is real. You can potentially apply it to almost any lithium battery being manufactured, whether that's BYD's batteries, whether that's Tesla batteries, whether that's Cadle batteries, whether that's batteries from a numerous number of different manufacturers around the world. This is essentially, as far as I can tell, the biggest breakthrough in battery technology. And the reason is because it's so simple. It doesn't require some sort of revolutionary battery, it doesn't require solid state battery technology, but it enables charging a battery to 100% in 10 minutes. We haven't seen this before in a production vehicle, but one has been unveiled here in Australia that can charge to 100% in literally 10 minutes. Now, yes, there is a caveat to this story. The battery is not big, but it is in an EV. And this technology, I think, is something you need to know about because really you could potentially retrofit your vehicle with this kind of technology based on what I'm reading at the moment. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. To us, welcome to all the new subscribers on the channel. Great to have all of you. Now, for those of you who are new, you just come onto the channel within the last month. I have an Xpeng G6. It can charge the battery. It's actually, I believe, one of the fastest charging EVs based in Europe. They 